Elon Musk has revealed that Starlink will be suitable for global cruisers sometime in 2022. Meanwhile, the next generation Starlink receiver is finally starting to ship. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on SpaceX's Starlink Internet Constellation, which has been rolling out or around the world and throughout our skies. The latest bit of news has some pretty big implications. Elon Musk tweeted out in response to somebody asking him, one of his online fans, asking him if when their parents go on a global cruise you know, around the world sailing in their own boat, will they be able to be connected via Starlink? And he responded saying, Starlink should work everywhere for global maritime by roughly middle of next year. That's the point when enough satellites with laser links will be launched. Until then, it will be patchy. And so, Wow, that's great. You know, they're actually giving a timeline for when there will be Starlink for boats, right? What is he referring to with the laser links? We've talked about this many times in the past. The f all of the first generation of Starlink satellites that have launched do not have the ability to talk to each other in space. They talk to a ground station, to the satellite, to you, wherever you are. And if the ground station and the satellite are out of range of each other, even if you're in range of a satellite, you cannot talk to Starlink. The second generation of Starlink satellites actually has laser interconnects so that your signal can go from you to the satellite, to the next satellite, to the next satellite, and down to a ground station, which means then you can have coverage where there are no ground stations or for cruisers where there's no ground, far from sea, far from land. And that is actually really exciting and potentially revolutionary for global cruisers who will be out in places where there's, there's no land. And traditionally, connectivity has been absolutely horrible or horribly expensive. So no specific details. There's going to almost certainly be different hardware than the current DISHI, the suitable for maritime and mobile use. Um, no details on pricing, no details on plans. There'll probably be different plans than the terrestrial plans. But it's good to see that SpaceX and Elon Musk himself personally are thinking about the needs of cruisers. And it's maybe coming in 2022. The maybe, well, Elon Musk is known for Elon time. He is sometimes a little bit ridiculously overly optimistic in his projections. But it is, will be technically possible that there could be. Starlink for cruisers by the middle of 2022. Great news. Now, the other big news on the Starlink front is the second generation Starlink receiver is finally been revealed, FCC approved, and it looks like the initial orders are just now shipping this week. There's nobody with a hands-on report yet, but a lot of people are seeing their order confirmations from SpaceX saying that it's shipping. So we'll probably be seeing hands-on reports of this second generation dishy in the very near future. So what is different about this dishy? Well, some people are calling it the bricky now because it is a rectangle. Instead of being a, a dish, a, a circle, it is now a rectangle. It is actually smaller and lighter too. Not hugely smaller, but small enough to be significant if you're trying to stow it into a bay in an RV or something like that. The lighter weight is nice too. And another very handy thing is the cable, the Ethernet cable that goes from the inside router to the outside dishy or bricky is now removable on both ends. So you no longer have to deal with the logistics of well, that, all, the, all the complications that come from an unremovable cable. So is there a performance difference, a price difference? Well, performance difference remains to be seen, but it's not expected to be any performance difference. Price difference for end users is still the same $499 as well, $499. But the price difference for SpaceX to manufacture it is, we, everybody suspects that that is the primary reason for this new second generation dishy. We've reported on in the past that SpaceX has shared that they lose a massive amounts of money on every one of the original generation dishes they've sold. They were basically a prototype design brought to market. And... And this is now the cost reduced version, which will hopefully get them you know, to losing less money or even to the break even point. So it makes it more affordable to mass produce uh, these receivers and start offering Starlink service to more and more places. So according to the updates from uh, SpaceX, mm -hmm. uh, every order fulfilled from now forward will be getting the new second generation uh, Starlink receiver. We've got an article with some of the other technical details of it. The inside router has changed. It no longer has a built-in Ethernet port. So if you want Ethernet on 
on your internal network, not just Wi-Fi. You will want to buy their $20 Ethernet add-on adapter. There's a few other technical changes under the hood, but from the user standpoint, not a whole lot. Aesthetics standpoint, it's a whole different look. And well, once the first hands-on reports come as they actually start shipping the boxes out, we'll see if there are any performance trade-offs in this new lower cost version. The one other thing to keep in mind is this is still not the high performance uh, Starlink receiver that uh, SpaceX in August talked about having in the pipeline. That is the one that is designed for in motion mobile use and more rugged environments and stuff. No additional details of that version have been revealed yet. That will be a, probably a completely different product, different price, everything else. But we are tracking all of this and we will keep you posted as we learn more. It's exciting to keep track of. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.